Hey guys, welcome to uh, a week one preview of the Lumberland Fantasy Football League, also called, do we have a name for the league? The Lumberland Fantasy Football League. Oh! A lot of people confuse it with Lumberland, but it's yep. Lumberland. Lumberland sounds like a really shitty theme park. Split down the middle, the real fans and the fake ones. The fake if fans. If you say Lumberland, I don't even want to talk to you. Fake fans. If you're watching this and you say Lumberland, click out. Now that we have the real fans, let's do this. Bunch of great games this weekend, obviously, but we also have a bunch of great matchups in the Lumberland Fantasy Football League. Let's start with um, Big Mike's I Can't Do a Backflip versus uh, Johnny No Cilantro's Benjamin Waffles Burger. Okay. I'd first like to start with the names of the teams. Yeah. I Can't Do a Backflip. Do you know any where that came from? Yeah, or? so John yeah. had a tweet that said, um, life is a lot like a kickflip. I can't fucking do it. No way. Yeah, and it was it was a good tweet. Wow. So he named his team after the tweet. Okay. Um, but rumor has it Mike didn't follow John after seeing that funny tweet. He didn't follow. Yeah, so big big controversy going Holy on in the office. Shit. Thursday games have already happened, so we'll give you, you know, you'll see right here the score. Uh, is already 66.06 to nothing. Mike had uh, Tom Brady and a wildly overperforming Amari Cooper. 38.9, two TDs, 139 yards, 13 receptions. That's not going to happen again. That's not going to happen again. But it looks like it's probably going to be enough to put him over the edge. ESPN is giving him a 65% win probability. Holy shit. Because uh, he still has Nick Chubb and DeAndre Hopkins to go. Wow. You know what my predictions are for this matchup? What's up? I would think Benjamin Wafflesburger is mm -hmm. going to come out of the woodworks, and you want to know why? Why? It's because he did not follow John on Twitter. You think So you think karma's going to play a factor? Here? Exactly. It's week one. Yeah. Anything could literally happen in week one. I mean, Tom Brady almost lost last night. Well, here's here's something, though. Uh, ben Wafflesburger's number one, or first round pick, uh, Austin Eckler, may not be playing oh, on Sunday. All right, I take it back. And his <laughs> starting quarterback is Trevor Lawrence, who, I don't know if you know, know this, has never played an NFL game. Holy so shit. So we don't know a lot about how those are going to go. Um, mm. Allen Robinson has a new quarterback. Who knows how that's going to go. You know what I'm curious about? How do rookie starts match up? Like, has mm -hmm. a rookie ever had a really good first start? Like, you so, know, he got drafted and he's immediately starting. What's the other example? Um, Baker. Baker. Uh, pretty much anybody who got drafted by Cleveland over the last like 10 years before and Baker. And end well. And those didn't go all too yeah. well. But this is Jacksonville. This is a proven organization. Um, you know, such great quarterbacks in the past as... Baker Mayfield. Uh, <laughs> Baker Mayfield, Deshaun Tom, Kaiser. Tom Brady. Tom Brady. Yeah. All these guys were Jacksonville Jaguars at one point. Um, they weren't. So what, what it looks like here is that... Um, ben Wafflesburger, more yeah. like Ben, he's going to lose the game. Yeah. Do you agree on that? Yeah, we agree. Cool. We agree. Check that out. It's the first time for everything. That would be nuts if Daryl Lawrence just has like a record-breaking first start. I'm That'd here for it. We're here for it because that's here our pick. It. All right, next match. No, it's up. not. We picked against them. <laughs> oh, I thought we picked Ben Wafflesburger. Oh, no, I'm not. Oh. I'm going with the guy who has a 66-point lead. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so we're split. Oh. So we're not agreeing. It's not I, a first time for I think I picked Ben Wafflesburger, but then I went back on it because But now you're back again. Austin Eckler. Is Austin Eckler completely out? It's not sure yet. Okay. All right, I guess I got to go with I can't do a backflip. Yeah. Uh, All right, so we uh, are in the same page. All right, there we go. There we go. We've got Rory's Fancy Lads versus uh, Dave, not that Dave, uh, our Dave fan Ch Dave. Chappelle. Dave Chappelle, our big fan who won uh, the contest to play in the league with us. His team, Beluga Beluga Wales. Uh, are are up against each other. Uh, oh my God! Nobody had anybody play Thursday, so this is a zero zero. Uh, ESPN's probability is pretty split, fifty two to forty eight. Tight matchup here. Can we talk about that name, Beluga Beluga Wales? I mean, I think that right off the bat, I don't even need to look at their roster. I think I'm going with Beluga Wales Beluga. Is that what it is? Yeah, Beluga Wales Beluga. Um, Did he need the extra beluga at the end? There? I don't know what that means. In oh, you don't know about the well, I know about the butt yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. But the beluga whales, beluga, maybe, I don't know. I think it too much. That's a good name. Solid name. All right. um, so, uh, beluga, let's start there, has uh, Josh Allen, Derek Henry, Sony Michelle, Justin Jefferson, Kenny Galladay, uh, Baltimore's tight end Andrews, and then uh, Chark Jr. from Jacksonville. I don't even know who that is. Uh, Minnesota's D and... Butker versus Jalen Hurts, Aaron Jones, 
Joe Mixon, Tyler Lockett, Ayuk, Hawkinson, Swift, Miami's D, and Mason Crosby. Both of these teams definitely uh, look like teams that will do just fine throughout the season. They look like borderline playoff teams, but not quite. Uh, okay, not quite monsters. making the cut. Mm-hmm. Who are their quarterbacks? Jalen Hurts versus Josh Allen. I'm going yeah. with the Beluga Whales because strictly Josh Allen. Yeah, I mean, Sony Michelle, Galladay, Derrick Henry. Derrick Henry's going to kill yeah. Arizona. Uh, I think, yeah, I think Derrick Henry might get you enough points to put you over the edge. Mm. I'm really curious to see how uh, Sonny Michelle does. As am I. Yeah. As am I. Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah, so I, I think we're in agreement here. So we're going Beluga Whales by a hair. Let's go. Let's go. You know what we should also do at the end of this is pick who we think is going to win the league. Because this is the first one. I, I think it's going to be probably me. Oh. Whoa. Really? We got yeah, some I think we're fans. both biased. We got some fans we saying should, that I'm going to win the we league. We should put our projections in and both pick ourselves. All right, yeah, cool. Ask everybody else. Right. Now. Only pick themselves. We can clip this up, put a TikTok. Scene. Yeah. We'll be, we can ask the fans who they think is going to win. That's repurposing. Then they right pick there. the fan. Well. Oh, my God. <laughs> I never thought about it like that. A Pretty fan picking a fan? Well, they, they're making that's like our that content new, on their own. It's like the new Drake song, Fucking Fans. Fucking Fans. But it's, how we fuck our... Oh, uh, wow. Well, well, no, I don't want. Well, to, no, I don't want to fuck her, man. So I do weird. <laughs> yeah, I have a girlfriend. So oh yeah, she, she, she definitely would not like with. that. My girlfriend used to get so jealous when I cheated on her. All right, next up, we got another great matchup. We got another close one. We've got Dave, our Dave, not the fan Dave, our Dave's Westford Wendy's versus Big Will. Oh, Beluga Whales was the fan? Dude. Yeah. Oh. That's why we were talking about the fan. That fan was talking a lot of shit during the draft. I didn't yeah, have to was. change my pick. Dave's Westford Wendy's versus DJ Trill Will, if we still call him that. Worcester Worcesters, which is a throwback to the football or baseball team, the Worcester Worcesters. Uh, really? Yeah, there was a team called the Worcester Worcesters. I didn't know that. Yeah, they, is, that, is that why you did it? I, I would imagine. I hope he's so. a Worcester boy. He's a Worcester yeah. cat, as they call him. That's crazy. Um, so... These guys each had uh, a couple guys uh, playing on Thursday. Uh, Dave had Ezekiel Elliott, who wildly underperformed at 5.9, told you. And then um, Will had C.D. Lamb, who put up 23.4, and Ryan Suckup, who put up a cool 7 points. ESPN has the projections at 56% favoring Will. Honestly, dude, Will's team, besides C.D. Lamb, I hate. I don't, yeah, I don't really like much of this at all. I think maybe Seattle's D might get you a fair amount of points. Um, Matt Ryan against Philly's D will probably put up some numbers. Beyond that, I don't see much going off here. Not, and not even Calvin Ridley. Like, I don't see him really um, being, like, the largest factor in Atlanta's win. All right. I got Matthew Stafford coming out of the Woodworks, too. I think it's going to be an underdog victory for the Westford Wendy's. Yeah, I'm going to take Dave, too. Yeah. All right. All right, Dave. We got you. We got you, Dave. We've got Baker's Dozen, which is? Baker Mayfield. <laughs> Whose team is this? Oh, in all seriousness? Yeah. I don't know. Who's Baker's Dozen? Dave. Rock We've got RBK's Baker's Dozen versus uh, the Nikowski Brothers. Uh, fuck you, fucka. Uh, the probability is currently split 52-48 in favor of RBK. Uh, he had Chris Godwin play the other night. We gave him a cool 23.5, but th- Tampa's D who gave him a minus three. I think RBK's yeah, team is going to... Right We're going to talk about Tampa's D. Yeah. RBK's team is brutal. Yeah, this might be team. the worst team I've ever seen. Yeah, this is horrible. Yeah. Jeez. I like, wish I was the Nikowski, so I was facing him. What? My question is, why is he even playing? It's no, it, yeah. it's a completely valid question. Mm-hmm. And where the fuck did he just come from? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how we heard us <laughs> talking about him. His ears started ringing. Yeah, it looks like kind of his biggest weapons. Whereas the Nikowski's got Alvin Kamara uh, and George Kittle. They've got Justin Herbert. Um, I think Herbert's going to do more against Washington than Mahomes is going to do against Cleveland. So uh, I, w- I would give this one to the Nikowskis. Yeah. What do you think? They also got Antonio Brown. Yeah, who put up a uh, twenty three point seven last night. Yeah, so there uh, that was a great pick by Nick. I think that was late that he picked up him. Mm-hmm. Let's see what if we get. No. Tell me. Yeah, he was drafted fifty third, so fourth uh, round. That was a great pickup. A little early. Would you say that was a little early? Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure they did like dive like far down the projected list to get him. Yeah. Which uh, is is pretty crazy because a lot of people were doubting his uh yeah. you know, how involved he was gonna be. Yeah. And I mean if game one's any 
indication it seems like he's going to be mm-hmm. a pretty major part of the offense. Yeah, I think he's Brady's guy. Yeah. And then they have Evans, too, who gave him 5.4. They got Evans, too. Yeah. They have. Well, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm taking the Nikowskis. Yep, I'm taking Team AJ and Nick. Now we've, now we've got <laughs> Run CMC, which is run by Don T. T. Don, it's Dante's team, Run CMC, versus the people's team. You. John. John. 50 50. This is an even split in the eyes of ESPN. Wow. What does Run CMC mean? Um, CMC is Christian McCaffrey's nickname. Okay. Run DMC. Is famous hip hop group. Got it. Thank yeah. you. Yep. Anytime. Mm-hmm. Lamar Jackson versus Kyler Murray. Christian McCaffrey versus Saquon Barkley. Empty. Empty. What <laughs> the fuck? Does he know that? Do you know. have an empty spot? Don't worry about it. I'm talking. I'm, tra- we're worried. I'm, we're trying to give I'm our predictions. With some people. How are we supposed to straight up give our predictions if this is what we're dealing hey. with? You've got Le'Veon Bell on the bench. Oh yeah, I do. Who? I'm gonna, I'm gonna have some more people on my bench. You know, Le'Veon Bell is like the starter in Baltimore now after Gus Edwards he's got not hurt. Even on the main roster, he's still on the practice squad. All right. Don't worry, I know what I'm doing. I'm a doctor. All right, I'll no, trust you. He's, he's, he's not a doctor. doctor. He's not a doctor. So neither of these teams had anybody play Thursday. Um, they both have middling rosters. Uh, New England's D, and Pittsburgh's D against Buffalo. Jesus, you guys. Okay. That's fine. <laughs> well, nothing to worry about. Uh, this is going to be the final game that we see the end of, too, because Lamar Jackson's playing Monday night. So this one's going to be sitting here. So we might be long. here for the prediction show again. Um, yeah, who knows? Who knows? <laughs> oh, a couple recap weeks from show. Now, this game's not going to no, be, be here for the recap. If we're doing it Monday, we'll yeah. just do it Tuesday. Then. Oh, yeah, makes sense. It makes sense. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I don't trust either of these guys. John's team is being run by the people. That's why it's called the people's team. He's asking the fans to make his decisions for him. Really? Yeah, they drafted too much about it. They drafted for him. Well, I'd assume he's keeping it going because he named it after the people. And because he doesn't know too much about it. And because he doesn't. Okay. But I respect... So given the public versus Dante, who do you take? The public. public. Yeah. All right. Nine, nine, ta- nine, ta- nine times out of ten. Nine ten times, times, times. Eleven times out of ten. So we're going to go with... The people's, the people's team. team. John, 1-0. Yeah, I mean, Dante doesn't even have a guy on there. No, yeah, I mean. Yeah, what I is he doing? I don't know. Not much. Yep. All right, we got Team Hamill. Whose team is that? Come on. Oh, no. That's me. It's fucking Casey. Oh, Come my on. God. Casey had Dak Prescott go uh, last night. He got him 27.42 with a 400-yard performance. Uh, that is the only player in this matchup who has already played, though. Um, he's going up against... Kevin's Team Tata. You guys really put a lot of thought into these names and have the fucking generic logos, too. <laughs> well, all right, I'll let you pick my team name right now. Uh, uh, give, team, give me a color. Team give me a color. <laughs> team give, name, name it Team Tata. No. <laughs> you should change your team, team name week by week to, like... My opponent. To, like, your opponent's... But my opponent's first name. Like, to really name it like I'm going to beat Kevin. Okay. Or like Ke- Kevin or, can suck Or it. Kevin's middle name. I got to somehow find out Kevin's middle name. Dante. What? What's Kevin's middle name? Um, we'll see. Dante. Real mature. Good. Thank God we didn't pick you. Name it. Dante said your middle name is Pussy. He's a bad friend. Kevin's got uh, Ryan Tannehill, uh, Dalvin Cook, David Montgomery, Julio Jones. And uh, what, who do you got? You got Jacobs, Stefan Diggs, Cooper Cup. Yeah, so... Um, I'm stacked. No. So, uh, although... <laughs> Team Kevin. Although... I <laughs> love that, yeah. Team Kevin. It's official. You have this lead here, dude. I, I hate to say it. I gotta pick. I'm gotta. i going to pick against you here. What? Yeah, I hate to say it. Bro, the fans are saying I got the best team in the league. I got Juju. I got Cooper Cup. Do you not even Stephane play Juju? Diggs. Yet? Yeah. These are all great guys three, four years ago. All right, well, I obviously am picking myself because yeah. I have myself winning the league, so. Oh, you picked yourself to win? Yeah. That's correct. I picked me to win, too. Oh, awkward. <laughs> and finally, uh, we got Sophie's What's Going On, buddy. Great name. Uh, against uh, Haikuna Matata, which is me. Um, ESPN's currently giving me a 60% chance to win. Uh, I got a 39.9 point uh, to 17.6 point lead. Um, Gronk and Leonard Fournette. 
Uh, got me those points, whereas uh, Zerlin and Gallup uh, have already played for. Uh, Sophie, we got Russell Wilson versus Joe Burrow, uh, Najee Harris. Um, she also got Kareem Hunt, DK Metcalf. That's uh, pretty goddamn stacked up front. Holy cow. Kyle Pitts. Oh, my God. Where, where did she get this team? What did she draft it? I have no idea. I have Robbie Anderson. What am I doing? Have I looked at my team? Robbie Anderson? What am I doing? Is the guy in the Jets? Yeah, but he's on the Panthers now. Okay. <laughs> Playing against the Jets with Sam Darnold. So, very weird. Uh, but, yeah, Tyreek Hill. Um, we got Jonathan Taylor. Um... Robert Woods, Robbie Anderson, Brandon McManus, and Baltimore D against uh, the Raiders. I think this is going to end up being closer than than um, they say here because her team is so stacked in the yeah. middle there. I'm going to say I'm going to oh, okay. Uh, I'm going to say me. Wow, think, you're still yeah, betting on I think yourself. I'm gonna, I think I'm going to bet on me. Okay. Like, yeah. All right. Yeah, but just narrowly. You got to bet on yourself. Got it. At the end of the day, I mean, that's all you got. That, that's it's all you yourself. can do. And uh, if you guys want to see how, uh, how this ended up, see our standings, um, we're going to be putting out another one of these uh, next week. I think we'll just do like one a week. We can recap the last week and preview the next week. Yeah. Oh. I'm down. Let's do it. Yeah. Next Tuesday? Uh, yeah, I won't be here. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> All right. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. Uh, click the like button. Click the subscribe button. Go check out our other videos. Yeah, let us know what you want us to see next. Yeah. And let us know how your team's doing, too. We don't care about you. Yeah, we don't care about you. Let us know how your team's doing.